Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Shaw. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Beacon Orthopedics. I wanted to speak to you today about knee injuries and specifically meniscus tears. Meniscus tears are one of the more common knee injuries we see in the office. And this happens usually with wear and tear activities and sometimes sports with twisting and falling activities that occur. When people come in, they, they want to know why did it tear? And the reason is the meniscus is kind of a very small, thin piece of cartilage. It doesn't have a lot of blood supply. And so it's sort of like your fingernail. It will tear pretty easily if it's twisted just right. The meniscus is this brown structure on the model. In real life, it's white cartilage. It lives between the femur bone and the tibia. And when we bend and twist and walk, there's constant force on that meniscus. At some point, it may be caught just right and the, typically the back part of the meniscus will split and that little split will become painful. The symptoms people come in complaining about typically are pain in the inside or the back part of their knee. It's usually relatively sudden in onset and patients usually can live with the problem for anywhere from days to months depending on how bad it is. We hear complaints about tightness which usually means there's some swelling, the knee will look puffy. Uh, they will have taken themselves out of some activities, try things like ice, ibuprofen, or Aleve to try and relieve the symptoms. But if it's not getting better after a few weeks, I recommend people come and at least get it checked. We'll start with a physical and a, a detailed history as well as some x-rays. And really with x-rays, we're just, we're just making sure there's nothing going on in the bone like an unusual uh, fracture or that you don't have uh, arthritis. So in the face of a normal looking x-ray and an, an exam where there's some tenderness over the meniscus and there's swelling noted, we're going to want to get an MRI so that we can see a detailed picture of this little structure called the meniscus. It is not something we can see on x-ray. With the physical exam we make sure all the ligaments are okay, the tendons are okay, and really we're, we're pretty certain typically after that initial visit whether someone may have a tear or not, and the MRI helps us greatly. We want to know what the MRI says because this leads us to treatment. If someone has a meniscus tear, this is typically a problem that will need a knee arthroscopy, which is a relatively minor to moderate surgery. This is going to occur with the patient asleep, and we make small openings around the front part of the knee with this, uh, an incision around the tendon here and one here. Through those two small openings, we can place the arthroscope see inside the whole knee and then place a little shaver tool and scissors to trim away the torn edge. We don't typically fix the meniscus and the reason being is it's not fixable. If it's torn in a certain way where it's a clean tear or it's a, an acute injury in a younger individual, the meniscus tear can be fixed but in the vast majority of patients coming in with tears it is not a fixable problem and we do what's called a meniscectomy which, which means we trim away the loose edges this would be analogous to having gravel in your shoe and when you're stepping on your, your shoe with gravel you kind of feel that irritating effect and that's exactly what your knee's getting, getting uh, done. It's, it's being irritated by the little torn piece of meniscus which almost becomes like a hard piece of gristle that's rubbing on your, your uh, two bones of your knee. So when we do the surgery we clean out those edges and smooth it and there's relatively fast recovery because patients can tell a difference usually within a few days to a few weeks. The recovery process after the surgery is go home the same day, use crutches for a few days and put ice on your knee. We start therapy typically within a day or two after the surgery to rebuild the motion, the strength, and to control the swelling. By around a month to six weeks, patients are usually released and they can resume normal activities to include running and jumping depending on what they like to do. I hope that answers questions about meniscus tears for you. If you have any further, please see me or one of my partners and we're happy to evaluate you.